uh, vacationing out in the woods where I used to live. My family's here. And I'm going to be heading back to Clancy soon to get ready for our big Halloween party. And we just been working part-time, but now Porch Kitty says, Screw the government, we're just opening up. We're not doing what they say anymore. And, I mean, really, I'm a pig anyways, so what, what do you think when you come in there and the pig's the cook? I don't know, but anyways, I'm making all kinds of good stuff for... Our Halloween party. There'll be all kinds of hors d'oeuvres and drinks and uh, bacon wrapped tater bombs. Those are delicious. And I, the bacon is kind of growing on me. I, and I, that's not a joke. I, I've decided that it's okay to occasionally have a little bite of bacon. And usually I only do it when I've been in the nip nog. But I have anxiety, so I do get in the nip nog quite a bit. Anyways, um, and we'll have our famous uh, Slurpee surprises that everybody, animals and peoples alike, love those. Because you can get them in all different flavors. And we'll have some hot cider drinks and cinnamon -y kind of things for Halloween. And pumpkin ravioli and squash raviolis, little baby raviolis in a, in a delectable nip-nog reduction that I make. And there'll be finger foods, there'll be little little hot dog wieners uh, wrapped in, in uh, yeah, biscuit stuff. And so they look like monster fingers and then we'll put some ketchup on them so it looks like blood. And, and you just have to show up. It's going to be great. And Porch Kitty says, bring your little brats in and get uh, candy treats uh, early. And then, oh, whoops, I wasn't supposed to say brats. Well, anyways, bring those kids in and get their treat bags. And then y'all take them home and then y'all come back and, and party with us all night long. <laughs>